Center. My name's Quentin Reinhardt. Y'all already know what it is, man. Tonight is a fight night. Friday night. You understand me? Yeah, well, we play a fighting game in the Command and Man Center. Hope you guys are doing great out there, man. Yeah, man, tonight we're going to be taking a look at an old school, you know, that's a retro channel, man. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Look, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Ashura Blade. Now, this game came out, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. Look. I noticed this game on my um on my emulation stations. You understand me? Every time I jump, like I jump on a Pandora's Box 9D when I first got that machine, I noticed this game on there. I'm like, man, I ain't never found, I ain't never seen this game. And man, let me tell you something, I've been playing games a long time. I've never seen this game before. And it's ball, you understand? Especially if you like hits like Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, type games like that. You know what I mean? So I see the game on the on the Pandora's box. I hit it, I go in it, I'm playing it. I'm like, now man, I ain't never seen this game before. How did this game get past me and I've been playing games for over 30 years? You understand me? So this is how. Uh 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 this game is made by <laughs> this game is made by a company I mean, uh and published and developed by Funkai uh 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 over in Tokyo, Japan somewhere. And I'm gonna tell you something. This game and its counterpart, which is part two, is called uh, uh, Ashura Busters. Uh, 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 both of these games, part one and part two, never came to a home system. They are strictly arcade, and that company called, uh, uh, developed and produced by a company called Funkai. Uh, 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 we got these games. I got a menu, a Funkai menu on the... Um, on the hyperspin drive. And when I went in there, this was one of the first games I seen on the hype. This game you will only be able to get on emulation stations like the pedestal, the Blaze Blue Arcade Machine, the Pandora's Box 9D, because it never came, the, the, the game never made it to a, 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 a home, uh, home system. I looked today and tried to see, man, did this game come to any home console? It, it didn't come to no home console. Uh, it was strictly arcade, uh, uh, Usher Blade, uh, Sword, uh, uh, Sword of Dynasty. Yeah, Sword of Dynasty is a 1998. Here we go with this year again, man. 1994, 1992, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999. Uh, 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 straight hits. Straight hits. No misses. All hits, man, in the 90s, man. Yeah, uh, uh, um, uh, fighting game developed by a company called Fukai for arcade systems only. Uh, 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 yeah, this was only arcade, so that's how the game skipped past me. Now, uh, 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 being around in the gaming community for a while, I still should have, I'm figuring, I still should have caught this game at some arcade, but you know, like, here we go, uh, 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 we're from a rural area, and it's small, and we all only get an arcade game if it's commercial, 
like Mortal Kombat. Everybody, you know, it's a well-known hit. You know, it's got to be well-known. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, uh, 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 Cruising USA, Mario Kart. You know what I mean? It's got to, it's got to be a major title. You know what I mean? For us to get it in a heart, heart Marvel versus Capcom. Uh, uh, something like that. Not the spin. Now I'm gonna tell you what's crazy. We got the spinoff of Dark. We got the spinoff uh, uh, from Capcom Dark Stalkers in our arcade, and it was in there for like three weeks. Uh, uh, and we never seen that before. That's the first time, however, we seen the Marvel vs. Capcom graphics. That game was there three weeks, and they moved it. A lot of people was playing it. They was upset. Oh my God, we they was upset at the arcade when they moved, put, moved that arcade out there because there was a lot of people starting to play that game because it was by Capcom and that was a, and it had them fluid graphics. We never seen them graphics. That that game stayed there three weeks and it and it left. I'm like, why would you move an arcade game out of the arcade that's making a lot of money? Yeah, man, I don't know, man. These people, man, you dig? You understand me? Let me let y'all know. What we gonna be doing for a little, uh, you understand me, further in the week, hopefully. You understand me now? We gonna miss one of them. Maybe two of them. <laughs> you did, you understand me? Look, tomorrow night, uh, 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 hopefully with the T80, we're gonna be taking a look at Formula One, you did, on the PS5. You understand me? We gonna do that bait. We gonna do this piece 4K. You understand me? HDR. You understand me? Uh, uh, with the T80 steering wheel, uh, uh, we did get that drive club, um, uh, 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 done. You dig. You understand me. Man, did you guys check out that Contagion uh, 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 VR situation? You understand me? On the PlayStation VR 1. Oh, my God. That's a that's a hit trauma hit. You understand me? From back in the day, they ported that over to the PlayStation VR. I'm not for sure if that game's for the PlayStation VR 2. Now, and then I'm going to... I want to make a... Uh, I made a note to... Uh, on that... Um, when we did that video uh, um, for Drive Club, I want to clarify something because I went back to that video and I looked at it and man, I, I could see how some people would misunderstand what I said. The PlayStation 2 and the VR and the PlayStation VR 1. Now the PlayStation VR 1 works on the PlayStation 5 with the PlayStation 5 camera. Okay, you can play all the PlayStation 1 VR games on the PlayStation 5. You can buy the PlayStation games, uh, 1 games off of the PlayStation 5 in the store. Okay, but you cannot play PlayStation 1 VR games with the PlayStation 2 VR. Okay, they, they don't work like that. No, that, that's why they got double copies of some games. You understand me? They've been waiting on them to redo that uh, Resident Evil Biohazard 4 for the, for the PlayStation VR 2. You can play the PlayStation VR 1 on the PlayStation 5 with that camera, uh, uh, but you will not be able to play it with the PlayStation VR 2 headset and the controllers. They, the games don't work like that, you know what I mean? But at least what I was saying was, at least Sony did make it possible for them guys that ventured out for $500. You did, because that joint wasn't cheap when it came out. Uh, um, it was just as cost as efficient as the, as the, uh, the, the uh, recent second one, you understand me? People went out, when that, when that joint first came out, that joint was $500. Almost the same price as the, uh, the, the new one. Uh, uh, and then you had to have the camera, the moves, and all that. So it was good that they uh, 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 didn't forget about the, the, the people that bought the first PlayStation VR and made it compatible, you understand me, the helmet itself uh, 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 with the PS5. You know, And didn't leave people, you know what I mean, with the PS5. With the PS4, which is still cool, you could have still played your PSVR1 games on the PSV uh, on the PS4. You understand me? If they was gonna keep running games to it, uh, 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 but they 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 didn't even Sony man. You understand me? Thank you. You understand me? They made they did an even better deal. They made it so you can play your PlayStation uh, uh, VR1 on the PlayStation 5, and they constantly up uh, uh, updating. They making new games. For the PSVR 1 still with the PSVR 2. You understand me? So, yeah, I can't complain. Sony, man, you understand me? Are you dig? Yeah. So, we're going to be, yeah, yeah, I want to clarify that up, man, because I, I looked at that video. I'm like, man, some people that don't got both of them might think I meant you can play the PSVR 1 games on with the PlayStation VR 2. You can't. You, you can, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they don't work like that, okay? But anyway, uh, Anime Sunday, y'all already know for my, uh, 
for my newcomers, man. You really, let me go through the ritual. I gotta go through it because I got newcomers because we are at 373 subscribers. Oh my God. So I got newcomers. You understand me? So we are currently drawing this picture on Anime Sunday uh, uh, in which we draw a picture. You understand? We are currently drawing this whole cover and when we get done with it, uh, I'm going to be giving away a $50 gift card. I'm going to give you a cop fresh street, brand new copy of Street Fighter 6. I'm going to give you uh, um, another picture uh, uh, um uh, from GameStop, I'm gonna let you choose. I'm gonna be showing them again when I ask the question and you win. Uh, uh, and well, you're gonna win the actual picture that we're drawing too. So, uh, uh, yeah, on a fight night, Friday night, such as the night I'll be asking that dumb question. And now, don't forget, we got that other giveaway at 400 subscribers, in which we will be giving it away Mortal Kombat 1, the new one, and a hundred dollar gift. Then that person's gonna be outstandingly happy. You understand? He's gonna have a bunch of friends. Uh, uh the same day. <laughs> You did, you understand me? Check it out. Uh, 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 Monday, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Now, this is one of them iffy videos. This is one of them iffy videos. We're gonna try to do Metroid Prime Prime. And the thing about it is, we're at the end of this game almost, man. Uh, we're gonna try to get back. We're gonna finish the game, but we might not make this video this week, okay? We're gonna try Metroid Prime Prime with Samus. You did, because we're gonna do... Uh, um, uh, Anime Sunday and these videos are back to back so we may miss this one this week for Anime Sunday come back next week and vice versa you did you understand me just to keep just to uh, prepare you guys so uh, don't be looking really for that Metroid Prime video we're gonna do Anime Sunday though probably for sure uh, uh, Tuesday night arcade night we are still uh, we still have a um an appointment with that Darius Gaidan. You understand me on the Blaze Blue Arcade machine. Uh, 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 we're gonna we definitely gonna take a look at that super shooter. Uh, uh, matter of fact, we're gonna take a look at a couple of Darius uh, games. You understand me? Because I, I got a few of them on the Blaze Blue Arcade game, vice versa, from the pedestal to the Pandora's Box 9D. Yeah, this is a retro channel. So prepare to retro, baby. You understand me? You need, you understand? So we Tuesday night arcade night, we take a look at Darius. This guy Dan on the Blaze Blue Arcade Machine Wednesday night, first person shooter night. We're gonna continue uh, uh, Wednesday with that Contagion. You understand me? VR on that mission, man. That's that's a crazy hit. You understand me? I think that game is less than twenty dollars on Steam, if not twenty dollars on Steam. If you guys are interested, interested in picking that game up, that's just one mission. Uh, uh, and it's not, we're not finished with that mission. It's still probably about two or three more levels to that one mission. It's about five or six missions complete, uh, total on that whole game. That's a long game. It's, it's, the, the missions are long, especially that biotech lab mission that we're in. Man, them millimeters on there. Did you see them millimeters? What? Yeah, man, that's a crazy zombie shooter, man. We continue with that, uh, that one mission. Uh, now, we're going to return eventually back to our first person uh original first person shooter we're gonna continue with that doom uh, uh, uh vr so uh, after that and then after doom when we finish that doom game we're gonna jump right into iron man a vr heavy metal x o manor war <laughs> you did you understand me okay thursday night Horror night. Oh my god, we can oh you know what Thursday night horror light we supposed to continue with uh Resident Evil Biohazard 4 for the PlayStation VR2. However, Thursday night lands on the 15th, and that's our first day uh, uh for Command Center News, you know, we start that back this month. Uh, uh, and starting next month, Command Center News will be on the 1st, the 15th, and the 30th of every month. And where we keep you informed on uh, what's going on in the gaming community. Because somebody's got to do it, man. You understand me? Why can't... Yeah, why should it be us? Fight night, Friday night, next fight night, Friday night. We take a look at part two of the game that we're playing tonight. Uh, uh, Ashura Busters. You understand me? In the house. Funko! in the building tonight, baby, over in Tokyo, Japan, you understand me? Speaking about Tokyo, Japan, let's get into some news up there, you understand me? I hope you guys have been doing good, man, we've been missing, man, you understand me? My schedule been crazy, not schedule, schedule. <laughs> You did. You understand me? Welcome back to the Commander Man Center. Uh, uh, fight night, Friday night, and where we take a look uh, uh, at a fighting uh, game tonight. We just so happen to be taking a look at 
Ashura, uh, Ashura Blade. You big. I always have a problem saying that name of that game, man. Yo, these Japanese titles, man. Yeah, man. Man, it's going down, man. I got I got a lot of news for you. We ain't gonna cover too much. You understand? We just gonna cover a little bit, baby. Hope y'all doing good. Welcome back to the command center. You understand me? Let's um let's pull up. I got my DJ right here. Man, let me tell you this right now, man. Let me tell you this right now. Uh 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 Let's start let's start off with this um Let's start off with the Apple Vision Pro. Man, this is my game, my guy Tyler Woods. He's another YouTuber. Check his ch uh, channel out, Tyler Woods. He covers all VR helmets. But yeah, man, they finally got... Man, that didn't take long at all. They got the... Um, the... The... Uh, the uh, the Apple Vision Pro already working on Steam with the, uh, yeah, with the Steam PC VR games already. You understand me? Somebody made, uh, created some kind of app where you can now play, uh, St PC Steam VR on your Apple device, which I think, I think they were going to implement that anyway. But you know, the Apple, the Apple device don't have controllers. But somebody uh, made it to where you can use other controllers from other VR helmets that that take um, uh, 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 those sensor mounts, cause like the Valve Index, you know what I mean, uh, stuff like that. You can use those tracks controllers uh, 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 with the Apple Vision Pro on Steam and play Steam PC VR games, man. It's crazy, man. I, I, I knew it wasn't gonna take five minutes. Uh, that's the fastest I've ever seen them put anything. Uh, 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 on, 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 uh, man, yeah, man, that was crazy fast, man, and it's still $3,500, <laughs> dig, man, I just want to let you guys know you can now do that, you might want to take a look at, um, uh, 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 take a look at Tyler Woods' video right there, and, and, and it's his most recent one, so, yeah, yeah, he'll tell you how you can do that, uh, uh, check this out, man, let me give you this Xbox news, man, uh, uh, apparently, man, Microsoft, man, decided, um, that they're not gonna do another Xbox, man, they're gonna become a software company only, man, now they'll produce games for, uh, current gen systems i guess uh uh now play all your place uh, all your xbox hits on the playstation how's that sound oh my god yeah apparently man i don't know what happened but um these guys are now talking about they they're they're, uh, they're not gonna come out with another xbox i think it had something to do with that leak we uh covered last year man they got mad about that man you understand me they, they, they're saying they're not doing another xbox they're gonna become like sega uh, uh just produce and software for gaming systems you know like they might make the games you play the games they're gonna license a few titles to people's man yeah forza for the playstation oh my god yeah man that wouldn't that be crazy it, it, it looks like it's gonna be a reality here real soon all playstation exclusives i mean all xbox exclusives you will be able to play on the playstation and the switch uh, uh yeah yeah too you understand me from what i'm hearing man from the upper upper above so prepare yourself you understand me you need you understand me okay man let's cover this one punch uh, uh man they have now uh put this game on steam i was looking for this on steam uh the other day and i could not find it it's now on steam now and this is an open world rpg game one punch man the world uh uh, uh yeah man it's crazy man uh I'm gonna pick it up, man. I don't really get into RPGs, but I like One Punch Man. It's anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finna jump down on that. I want you guys to uh, uh just wanted you uh let you guys know that there it is now on Steam. I was looking for this because man, uh once a game come out, very rarely if it is it not on Steam unless it's exclusive to a platform. You understand me? This game, I didn't see it being exclusive. Yeah, but they put it's on Steam now. So if you want like to buy it or pick it up, yeah, you did one punch man the world. You understand me? They ain't playing on uh 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 on Steam, man. They jumping off, man. Keep a look out uh 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 for these games, man, and these titles, man. Y'all know what it is, man. This is my game, man. You understand me? Yeah, I'm gonna be picking this up day one. You understand me? This is that Stella Blade, man, with my girl on there. PlayStation, you know they advertised it uh, 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 at the um, 
at PlayStation State of Play, Sony State of Play. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna pick this up day one. Like I said, Devil May Cry type, near Automata type. Uh, 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 yeah, man, you understand? It's my stuff, man. I like them rogue type. You understand? And I'm gonna tell you something, man. Uh, this game here. Is, 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 is catching a lot of people waiting on it. You understand me? They waiting on this one here, man. It's looking good for the home team. But let's jump into this one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this it? Let's just let's jump into this one. Oh no, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go back. Uh 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 this game here is 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 people are waiting on this one just as bad. It's that rise uh 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 Toronto, you can pre-order this game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make get my pre-order in because this game's looking crazy. You understand that uh, Rise of Ronin? Uh 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know it's they they jumping off at $69.99. I'm thinking that Stellar Blade's gonna probably be about 74 bucks also, man. These are triple A this is gonna be both triple A titles. This game's looking crazy. I seen some some personal footage uh, 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 earlier today. I was just going through my phone, looking uh, at YouTube. I seen some footage on this game. I'm like, man, yeah, yeah, it's crazy, man. Ronin ain't no game, man. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this Ronin up. We gonna cover it on the channel. And I'm gonna pick that. You know we covering that Stellar Blade. Come on, stop it, man. And we finished with this arcade piece, man. Uh, 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 over in um. This is the world's largest time zone arcade. Uh, uh, uh Surface Parasite. This is in, this is in Australia. Oh my God! So we still got some arcades in the land. You understand me, people? Still, you understanding me? You dig? You understand? Fight night, Friday night. You know we gotta show an arcade. Y'all know how we doing. The people are having a ball. You understand me? Yeah, yeah. We ain't playing no games in here. Let's get to the uh. Let's see what else. Ooh, they got the DX racers in there. Oh, my God. Did they cut on us? I think they cut on us, man. But they go, bam. We back. Look at them racers. You understand me? Now, you know what? When I go to the arcade, if I see some, see something like that, and I got up for free, we jumping on them, man. We don't care. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you this here. These arcades, man, in the middle of nowhere... Uh, 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 usually you can get a deal, like you can pay $100 and play all day, or you can play $50 and play all day, or you can pay $20 or $30 and get a band on your arm and play all day, but some of them be super expensive, you can pay that band, that, that front fee, and then some of the arcade machines in the arcade, even though you played that front fee, will cost you some money. To play like the arcades, they use. I mean, like the uh, like the pinball machines. They usually, th th them are usually separate from the vids. If you want to play the pinball machines, you might have to come out your pocket again. You want to spend some more money to play certain machines. You know what I'm saying? Because if they did not have. You know, pinball machines are super expensive, man. Uh, uh, they tend to uh, charge you separately for them because they don't want to, really, they don't want a lot of people bashing on them and playing them. You know, they're hard to fix, they expensive. You understand me? So you might have to come out your pocket personally to play the pinball machines in any arcade that has a front fee like that. Most arcades like that, I'm going to let you guys know that. You will probably have to play an additional fee if you like pinball machines. Even though you paid that front door fee to play all the games, but they didn't include, and some people will tell you when you're in an arcade, hey man, this don't include the pinball machines. Yeah, I don't know what's with the pinball machine, yeah, but that's how they do it, man. But yeah, in Australia, man, you understand me, the world's largest time, uh, time zone arcade, you dig, you understand me. Just wanted to bring y'all a little news, man, not too much, man, a little news in the commander, man, center. You understand me, thanks for tuning in, you understand me, yeah, we're going to come back in a minute, we're going to check this um. Asura Blade out, you understand me tonight, man, jump off with it, man, yeah, man, what, yeah, we was missing, and man, I missed about four or five videos, no, I missed about three videos, yeah, yeah, my schedule's hectic this week, man, but, uh, uh we, we back, baby, we back, and we'll be right back with that part two of this gameplay on the pedestal of that Asura Blade, holla. <laughs> 